Now these four shades are not all ColourPop. I believe there's one Makeup Geek in here and one uh, MAC. But this one right here is the one that I'll be using and this is For Sure by ColourPop Cosmetics. It is one of their pigmented shades, like their pressed pigment shades. And we're just going to go ahead and build that shade into the crease. And then we're just going to go ahead and dip back into that Sweetheart shade and apply that to the parameters of that For Sure shade in order to gently blend out any harsh edges that still may be there. So the next thing we'll be doing is going into the shade Revel from this same Tarte Lip in Bloom palette with a Morphe M433 brush and we'll be applying that lower in the crease and out of the area of the eye. going into the shade Leader right here which is a deep and even deeper shade and we'll be applying that to the same area of the crease that we just applied Rebel to. Now my trick in order to blend out any kind of deeper shades like this is to go back in with the slightly lighter shade which is in this case Rebel from that palette and just go ahead and buff that onto the top. I wanted to add a little something extra to the lid so I'm going to go ahead and go in with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade I Heart This and we're going to apply that from the inner to the center portion of the lid. I've gone ahead and applied that I Heart This shade all over the lid. I'm going to go off camera and finish the, up the rest of my face. Alright, so using a smaller, stiffer pencil kind of brush, I'm going to go ahead and dip into Leader, that very deep, deep shade that we use from the Tartlet and Bloom palette, and we're going to apply that to the under eye as close to the lash line as possible. And then we'll be going in with that Rebel shade and blending out any harshness under the eyes. Make it last forever, stop and, and, or, and in order to add some more balance, I'm going in with For Sure and also blending out the under eye. Next, we'll be going in with this Makeup Geek shade. It's called Rapunzel for our brow bone and inner corner highlight. Now I've gone ahead and added falsies to this look and mascara. Now these are the Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes. They're very um, medium density and they're fun and flirty and I like how sparse they are. But yeah, if you enjoyed that tutorial, then go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. I post every Friday, Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday and I will see you in the next one.